Hi everybody, welcome back again. Um, this is video number three in this series. Um, let's kind of review really quick. The uh, first video was creating a, a file that read a text file and wrote some results and turned it into a DBF. The second uh, video I explained how Python parses a line or how you can use Python to parse a line to get information out of each index of a list. All right. Now, this video is hopefully going to be relatively short. I want, like I said last time, I want the computer to do most of my grunt work or my mundane tasks. Okay. Now, the first thing that I do that I want my overall script, and this is going to be one big script when we get done with it. Right now, I'm working in pieces parts so I can test them. Okay. The first thing that we want after we download our Landsat image, I want the computer to do the rest of the work for me and then I'll analyze the results once it's done going through all of the mundane tasks, right? Well, the first thing that I do when I download an image is I need to unzip it or extract the data out of the compressed file that I download. And I have a directory structure that that all the files need to be in when I'm doing my tasks. Okay, so I'm using Python to extract the zip file and create some directories and put data into those directories that I'm going to work with. All right, so that's what this script does. All right, so here we go. So we import OI, uh, the OS module, but we also import a module called tar file which is an, is an archive uh, compressed file and all of the Landsat images and Sentinel data, they're all compressed in a tar format. You might get a zip file here and there. And you, if, you, if it is a zip file, you're going to replace the import tar file with zip file. Okay. In my case, we're working with tar files. All right. So we import the module to do that. I also imported ArcPy here, but that's for later on. Uh, we're not using ArcPy in this particular script. So it's going to stay grayed out in Python until you actually make a call to use it. All right, so I set up some variables uh, and I've, re I've named them starting with IMG for image. Um, my zip directory, I could have called it tar directory, but um, zip is pretty much well known. And I've hard coded some directories in here, uh, GIS data, because that's never going to change for me on my computer. And then I've created a directory already on my computer called Landsat zip files. This is where I down, when I, after I download them, I put them in that directory. Um, then I create an image main directory and my image main directory in, and I'm programming all of this right now. Um, when I'm done with this, I'll change this from being GIS programming to GIS data. All right. But I've created a directory uh, in my programming directory for testing almost with the same name as I have for my GIS data directory. It's GIS programming Landsat. All right. So I created a, I hard coded that directory into the code. All right. Cause it's always going to be there. It's my data that I'm working with is always going to be in this directory for main. Now I create what is known as image file. Now here I've hard coded it. And this is the name of the, extra, uh, the compressed file that I download from the USGS for the Landsat. But when I make my final uh, Python script, this is actually going to be an ArcPy call for a get parameter 
so I can run it inside of ArcGIS and actually click the file that I want to compress, uh, uh, extract, okay? I'm not going to have to type this, num this name in all the time. All right, now, if you remember last time, we were parsing a, we were parsing a list, okay? In an essence, image file is a list, but it's a list of only one thing, and that's this file name, all right? I, IMG F root, F date, path row, and FP, no, I'm not FP, but pa down to path row, I am reading this string and I'm assigning these variables positions in that string, okay? So I am file is from position zero, remember zero is the first position, not one, one is the second position. So from position zero, up to position 40, but not including 40, which ends me here, I want to extract all that information. Then I'm adding an underscore to the, because actually in the uh, name for all of the images, there's an underscore, and then there's B1, B2, B3, etc. okay, for each band, for the TIFFs, okay? So I'm hard coding in an underscore into F root name, okay? Now, F date is a different position in this file name, okay? It actually starts at position 17. And we go through position 24, even though that says 25, that's 25 right here. But I don't want 25. I want to stop it at 24. It's up to not including 25. And then path and row is position 10 through 15. Up to but not including 16. Okay? And I assign that to image path and row. Then we take some more information. We take the OS we create a path name, FP, IMG, FP is, is, is a variable that I'm uh, creating a path. And that path, that operating system path, I'm joining two variables together. And that is the zip directory and my image file name, which is this right here. And it creates a path, all right, called this, <laughs> these two put together. Then I'm printing that out for verification, but my I am main, which is the root, which is this directory here, inside this directory, I am adding an ls underscore with the date of the file. Okay, so the name of my directory that I'm going to create, my root directory for this particular scene, is going to be ls underscore and then the date. That way I know that this is a Landsat image and this is the date. Okay? Now, I create one more new, one more new um, variable called new directory. This is a directory that I'm going to tell our um, I'm going to tell Python to create on my computer. And that is going to be the main, which is this directory here, okay, plus ls right here, and the date. I could have, this print statement is actually, if you'll notice, it's exactly what this is here. I'm using the print function so I can verify that my file name is going to be right, my directory is going to be, the, my folder name is going to be correct. That's what I'm doing here. These are identical, okay? But for image new directory, I'm assigning that, uh, that path to that particular variable. Now we come in and we go into um, 
uh, I guess I called this a function before, this print method, sorry. Uh, this function try, we use the make directories, uh, make, use the make directories method of the OS to create a directory, uh, directory tree. First, we create the root directory, which is equal to that new directory uh, right up here. Then I create subdirectories, one called radiance, one called reflectance, one called composite, and one called indices. Okay? So I'll have a data structure, I'll have a file structure or directory folder structure that will hold relative information once I create those further down in my Python script. So here I'm just doing some housekeeping, creating my, my, my work area for that particular scene. Okay? Now, I'm not writing anything into these directories. All right? I am going to extract this, this tar file into the root directory and then all my analysis results will get written into their subdirectories. Okay? The next part of the try is if that directory already exists, it's not going to create it again. It's just going to treat it as an error and it's going to fail. Okay? And I'll get a message that says creation of the folder and then this variable, which is uh, image date, failed. Okay? But if this directory doesn't, if this directory structure does not exist, it will create that directory structure for me and give me a notification, new folder, blah, 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 has been created. The last part of this script is the actual working of extracting the file. Using the tar file uh, module, it's going to open the path, the image path, which we saw up here, okay? And I'm assigning that to a tar object. And that tar object is going to extract everything in that uh, archive to this directory. And then once it unzips it, basically, into that directory, it's going to close that file out for me. And then it's going to print your data or whatever has been extracted. Okay? So I've created, this is going to be the first thing that runs in the entire script. It's going to run before the script that we created last time. Okay? So this is going to extract all of our data. Now, when it gets done, I'm not going to run it because it, this is a very large file to extract and it takes like three, four, five minutes to run. But once it is completed, I will get a directory structure that looks like this. Okay? Now, you remember here we ran a strip file. Okay? We'll talk about that next time, but, and, and I've made a DBF file in that same directory for testing, but here's the data structure that we get once we run this extraction. So I have each one of these directories in my ls underscore date, whoops, I don't want to move that ls underscore date of the scene and then it's created all these directories underneath and has extracted all of my bands my satellite imagery into this root directory right here okay so that's working with a tar file or a zip file and so we've had our python automate that process for us as well so we don't have to do it Okay, um, I will post uh, the code in the description of this video. I welcome you to please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so we can continue on. Hey, I appreciate you guys coming and listening. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.